Right guys, welcome back to our Project Zombide Hydrocraft playthrough. Yeah, what episode are we on now? Number number seven? Yeah, lucky number seven, I hope. Um, Not sure if we're going to beat the luck of the end of last episode. But between episodes, I have been busy. And sadly, a lot of our food has rotten away, which is not good. So... That means even more foraging yet again. So, as you can see, outside here is slightly different. <laughs> and we are overgrown still. We have a fresh lot of crops down because I managed to get a fair few broccoli, which I've already gone through doing what I've been doing. So, what have I done? I've made this nice little area here and we have our kiln down now so that is anchored in place so we can do all this crafting things that we need to here and I believe this is just literally an oven that's it so you craft your things out of clay you bang it in the oven job done easy peasy simple stuff but as we come down here we have what's going to be my new home and I've already started with a little bit of decoration above the bed there and we have a antique oven in there and a sink ready so we're going to have a nice kitchen area around here I believe and plenty plenty of fridges I think yeah maybe maybe just storage there fridges here and then turn this rest of it into something else I don't know and then we have his bedroom off here and then this will be I don't know I don't know. We'll 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 figure it out as we go along. So we go upstairs and we're on his roof and I've managed to do the full roof and I've got a rain collector barrel there. So it's one of the fancy looking ones because we are now also seven carpentry. Yeah, done a lot, a lot, a lot of wood. But the problem is with these sinks i have the wrench here and the sink and whatnot it won't let me plumb it in because this is not an enclosed room so what i'd need to do is i need to board up every single one of these before i can get that sink to work which is a little bit silly but sadly that is the game's mechanics and it means that we have to go wood cutting yet again because doing all of this has used all of that lumber that we had all of it completely gone none left every last bit which is very very annoying because this is the reason why i wanted the superb survivors i would have them just literally wood cutting that's all i'd want them to do i don't want them farming i don't want them fighting i just wanted them wood cutting but can't even get that sadly so the mission for today and it may even go over into tomorrow because it is quite an important one is we need the basic necessities now and we want to use hydrocraft to attain those so if we just open up the crafting window excuse it it will take a second please Please don't die on me. There we go. Right, okay. And, oh, I didn't put it in a favourite, sadly. It's here, though. It's in here somewhere. I think. Let me just skip through. Okay, this is the one here. Gardening workbench. I believe it is. Yes, it needs a normal workbench, which I have no idea how to do. And a lot of other bits and bobs. So... This thing here is the start of the farming side of the hydrocraft, which is going to be very, very helpful because it's going to allow us to sustain as food. So what I need to do now is I just need to go through the other ones. Yes, we have a carpenter bench, so I think I'll favourite that. And a workbench as well. And I think I will favour that. 
So those are the first things we're going to have to go through. Because we have his kiln, so we can make flower pots, we can get more wood and make planters, etc. But we need empty notebooks, three unknown seeds, some dirt, a workbench. I'm not sure whether that'll be consumed or whatnot. It might be. I might have to make a, another workbench. Then a garden apron, which I have no idea what that is. And a trowel, a pruning shears and a rake, which I don't think I've picked any of those up. I might have done a trowel, but I don't think the other two. Then empty watering cans and a spray can. I've got some of those. And a garden hose, which I did pick up. And some compost, which I didn't. But we know there's some back over at that factory. And then either garden gloves or work gloves. And I'm sure we've got an extra pair of work gloves somewhere. And then a shovel. So... It might be a trip back to the factory to try and get the things that we actually need. But also, it's a, another mission for lumber. Speaking of which, I have in my backpack here, wooden pallets. These things are a godsend. An absolute godsend. As we saw with the saw book, we can saw as logs and then we can bind them together with rope. So... We get 12 planks bound together with rope. You can then do three of those and a thick rope and a pallet to make a pallet of wood. It does mean you have to unpack twice, but it works out as 36 planks per pallet, which is insane. So I want to know how to make more pallets. Thick rope is made from your standard rope, which is easy peasy fair do as we can do that simple enough so i just want to know how to make these so when i go out wood cutting it might be easier to just chop down the trees and maybe bind logs to pallets and do it that way i'm not sure which is going to be the best but that's what we're going to find out now i've been rambling for nearly seven minutes or something or other and we haven't really done a great deal so first part of call i think is going to be a trip back to the factory so we can then strip out everything that's in that factory and return it back here then we can use a sledgehammer and start opening up areas and then we can decide where we want the doors i'm not sure whether to have one here maybe and then uh one just here near the stairs because that would probably be very convenient and then that one there is fine, yeah. And then maybe we might completely remove this inner wall. I don't know yet. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna see how we're gonna see how we're going. So that is the plan for today. Let's see what we can actually get done. Okay, guys, let's uh, head over to the factory. See how we get on. Now, I'm hoping that uh, it's not going to be too busy there. It could be. I wouldn't mind getting into the actual big factory itself, but the the place that we've been ransacking is is the better area. Um, I did have a look on the Project Zomboid map um, to just double check which, which area would be the best, and it turns out we actually hit the jackpot. So, let's see if we can get there again. I'm thinking about looping all the way around the building and trying to find the access because I didn't look on the map so I don't know where the normal like way you would drive into the place is so we're going to go and find that out right now and there is a lot on this road wow there is a lot on this road oh sugar oh no with it one trapped uh Maybe I should put the lights on. That might help a little bit. Keep hitting the small bushes. Oh, I don't like them being on the road. Okay, I think there's a junction just up here. Yeah, here we go. Here's one. Now, does this lead to the whole complex or is it just the factory side? I don't know. We can still take a little tootle around if we can get over to the clear area, hopefully. 
Uh, is this the area here, maybe? I'm not sure. Yes, it's this one here. Right, okay. So I want to try and get around to the other side of the building, but this area is getting a little bit overgrown. So yeah, here's where we want to be. So I'm going to spin the car around, turn his lights off, back us up a little bit, turn us off and get out, hopefully safely. Yes, here we go. All right, goodbye, good sir. And... Hmm. This is difficult and dangerous because I can't see anything. And that's a firework, I do apologise. Uh, he's got nothing on him. Did we pull anybody? Yeah, we've got somebody there. Okay. Come here, you. Over here. Uh, we've got another one up there. So that's two. Yeah, let's pull you over here. Out the road. So I don't have to run over any corpses. There we go. Hello. Goodbye. Right, lovely. Let's just have a quick look. Anything? Any goodies? Goodies? No, no goodies. Right. That way looks clear. And I think that's all we've pulled from this way. I think. Oh, it's so difficult for me to see this on my screen. I should have waited for daylight. I really, really should have. But no, that looks okay. So sneaky, sneaky mode, just to be extra safe. And I'm going to put my guard up when I get into this place because you never know, zombies could have respawned inside. I hope not. Again, this isn't much better. Oof. Oh, this is dark. So, yeah, just because I've been in the place before doesn't mean it's safe now. And, yeah, looks as if we're fine up here. Okay. Right, that's good to know. That's very good to know. So. Right. I'll try and get the rest of this lot disassembled sorted etc and take all the things that we want probably none of this up here though and uh, no i don't think i'll bother with any of those so yeah just everything that's downstairs now then and hopefully it'll be daylight soon because this is horrendous absolutely horrendous okay so i finished going through the rest of the boxes and finished disassembling what's in here as you can tell, it's pretty empty now. But I found a forklift truck, which is interesting. Now, it's the same thing as the pallet truck. It's 100% weight reduction, but it weighs 20. And it has a capacity of 260. Now, the pallet truck only weighs... Oh, no, sorry. It's weighing a little bit more because it's got something in it. Let's move those out so we can get an accurate comparison. The pallet truck weighs 15. So that's five weight for the sake of 14 capacity. You would have thought that this would have been a bit more than 260. Does it have a condition or anything? I don't think so. What can you do? Just dismantle it. That's it, right. Honestly, I might stick with the pallet truck for a bit. At least until we get a bit stronger. Um, speaking of which, we actually hit three strength the other day whilst I was uh, building this house. So, as you can see, the rest of the crates up here, which I've disassembled, I need to bundle those up and get them all parceled up nicely in this corner of things ready to go. So... Yeah, so far we've got three pallets and two more stacks, and uh, we can make another pallet. If needs be, we can strip some of these other pallets down um, and prioritise lumber, and then we can always come back for them if needed. But uh, we also got those gardening gloves. And there was something over here somewhere, I think, which was new. Where are we? Uh, yeah, canteens. So we've got some canteens here, which... I believe you can strap together with a belt and it becomes a very good uh, water source. There's plenty more garden hose and garden gloves and there was an unknown seed packet as well somewhere. Not entirely sure. 
Ah, yeah, two more pallets of lumber here. Yeah, you can see them, obviously. And where are we? Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Now, it'll be near the bottom somewhere, like, but I'm trying to find them. Now, uh, oh, also another wheelbarrow, which, again, is weight 20 and capacity 260. So the wheelbarrow is exactly the same as the forklift truck. I'm not sure if that's right. So the pallet truck is actually the the rubbish one, but lighter. Huh, strange. Oh, we also found a washboard. I'm not sure if that's going to be good for anything. Wash tub. Okay, well, yeah, that can stay there for now. There is an unknown seed packet somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where it was, but there is one. It exists. It exists. So I'm going to finish bundling all this lot up and then maybe go over to the storage lots, depending on how full we are. But yeah, there's uh, an awful lot to go through here, an awful lot of organising. So I'm glad I've put a lot of the area of the base to one side for, um, for thingy, the storage, because we're certainly going to need it certainly are right okay i'll get cracked on with this i'll see you in a second right well it's been a little while now and i'm ready to leave the warehouse uh, it's very very dark so i can't really show you what's going on in here um i can hardly see it myself but we've stripped everything down we've packed up all as lumber and we've grabbed a few extra bits and bobs ready to take back with us. I mean, we've been here that long that we're actually getting thirsty. We've gone through all this water. So I have got compost bags, spray cans, garden forks, garden hoe, hand fork, hand sight, hedge trimmer, uh, leak rave, uh, wraith, leaf rake, and a looper, which I believe is meant to be a lopper. Mm. Maybe a slight typo there. Got one lumber stack, four MPK fertilizers, one pack of unknown seeds. I think we need more of those. And then we've got 10 pallets of lumber. So that is 360 planks. Just there. 360 planks. Uh, we brought us pet bowl. We've got some pet snacks as well. Found two more propane torches. Uh, or is it one more? Either way, it's not got an awful lot with it, but still, I like to have them. And then, yeah, just an assortment of other random things. And I found an intact crate, so I figured I might as well take that as well. So, yeah. Now, the problem is, I'm knackered. All in all, I've got a fair amount of moodlets. So I don't know whether or not to go to sleep here and say put an alarm on for nine or something because I'm yet to go outside the door. So I don't know whether we've got any friends out there, which is going to be a problem. Uh, can I take that aluminium actually and the battery, please? And I can stretch to the receiver as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I want those because electronic skill is obviously a bugger to train, full stop. So having those means I can do things like makeshift radios, which I believe are probably the best things to make. Um, You know what? I'm not going to put an alarm on, just in case it does attract anybody from outside. Let's hope we don't sleep too long. Okay, come on, wake up, please. Thank you. Half past three. Half past three. Right, what's the situation out here? Yeah, as you can see, a lot of friends. Lots of friends. I just hope they're not outside here because I'm not really any in any position to be fighting them off. 
especially with this big um, pallet truck on me. I, I just don't want to unload it and reload it again. But yeah, look, see, this is the situation in here now. Look, there's not really many piles of anything left. I've got all the planks off the floor, as you can tell. Look, there's nothing there now. All the nails, all the planks. So yeah, there's just an antique oven up in the corner, which I've left. And that dolly thing there, which is uh, kind of like the pallet truck and the wheelbarrow and whatnot. Yeah, so, right, let's risk it for a biscuit. And that was a meta event as well. It just went off in my right ear. Okay. Okay, okay. So, I think we're okay. I think. Well, at least I hope we are. Yes, we are. There we go. Right. I'm going to try and sneaky sneak around that tree and up and over. So, nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. There we go. Right, well, I think that's the last time we're going to come there for quite a while now. Because we've got pretty much everything we're ever going to need from there. Now then, if I go out here, this should take me to a road, yes, and then I follow said road. Right. Hmm. May have to do a loop run around here. Ah! You know what? This is right next to the main road as well. Oh, I might take that over instead of the one in the city. Oh. You know what? That might not be a bad shout. Because look, I've got this area here. I can set up shop, so to speak, before attempting to take them down. Oh, there's no way to get around them. Oh gosh, I don't like this. Oh no, small tree. I'm stuck on a small tree. No! I'm going to have to plow through them. I hate it. I hate it. This is my new wagon. Please leave it alone. Leave it alone, you shit. Get off it. No. Leave it alone. It doesn't want your stinky guts on it. Leave it alone. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, I'm sure there is another vehicle that has better storage than this thing. I'm not complaining, obviously. It's done fantastic. But the only problem is, I haven't filled the boot. I haven't filled the boot. Because I've been too busy disassembling and just packing up lumber. And now I've hit the point where I'm thirsty. I just want to head back to base. Have a nice little drink. And go from there. But I do have a new plan of action. And that is uh, in regards to our farming thing. We need to make something called a gardening apron. I think that's what it's called. There is a possibility to loot it from places, but it can be quite difficult to do so. And I pulled some friends onto us. Oh God. Right. Can I get into base first? I don't want to be fighting. Okay. And um, place you down. Hello there, and goodbye there. Lovely, right? They can just be be themselves over there. I'm not. I'm not interested. Right? Let's uh, let's go over here. Let's go over here because I think what we've got, we should start sorting it out. Really, I think that'd be a good idea. So here will be the drop off and transfer all. Let's just power through all this. <laughs> As you can tell, we got a fair amount of everything. I do want the cabbage seeds in my normal inventory, though. And I want to equip that on my back. Okay, so we have some wood. We can finish up as walls, which is brilliant. Exactly what we need. 
But the next on the list is still food. Food and water. With with filling the gaps in these walls, I'll be able to plumb that sink in. So that would be water sorted. We've also got how much in here? 173. So, you know, it's not exactly life-threatening. And then we've got these we can fill up. And plenty of things that have collected rainwater. So, yeah, that's that's not really the massive issue. It's the food again. So... I think we just rotate standard crops, um, meaning like just do vanilla crops. And the best one to do, I think, would be just cabbage, honestly. Do cabbage like maybe every two days or something like that. Just plant a row of cabbage, see how well we do. Okay, so it's a little while later and I'm not very happy. This room is classed as outside still. Still. Full walls, full ceiling, complete doors. You know, destroyed the old section. But this is still classed as inside. This is outside. So all this work, and it's still not working. Not to mention I broke the sink, prattling around with it, trying to move it into here. To try and get it to work. So I need to get a new sink. Ah, <sighs> this is not gonna be good because obviously when it comes to sleeping, um I might get cold and whatnot. And I don't think the antique oven is going to counteract that. And I I I really don't know what else to do here, because this is really, really disheartening. Um Yeah. It's kind of really annoyed me. Spent all that time disassembling everything for all this wood and it hasn't worked. So, not sure what I'm going to do about that really. Um, the options are I move base or build a different house maybe up there. I don't know, but it just it just doesn't seem to want to work. Or I just live in this room here and have that for storage, maybe. That might be better. But then to top it off, this this table is being integrated into the wall. <laughs> so yeah, quite quite a few bugs going off, which is a shame. But hey ho, um, I have done some other bits and bobs. I've planted some new crops. I built this tower thing. I'm not sure what you do with it, but it's there. Uh, we started crafting some pots and we've got a few of the bits together for making our farming bench, I think it's called, or gardening bench. Gardening workbench? Yeah, gardening workbench, this one here, right. So, we need to... Uh, oh, I've got a watering can over there, I need to bring it over. We need to get one of these garden aprons, which I've spoken about, but there's also these pruning shears here, so I, I don't know whether you can make them, or how rare they are, or whatnot. Then we need a sack to get some dirt, and we need one more packet of unknown seeds and we should be rocking and rolling with that one then we can start doing potted plants and doing tree planters and all this that and the other so it should be rather interesting uh, let me grab one of you so i can bob you over there now so it's done but uh from what i found out you can get the gardening thing from garden sheds mainly. They seem to be the best option. Or you have to go through the whole let's make fabrics thing and I'm, I'm not really much of a fabric sort of person in games. It does annoy me. Um, like using a loom and farming flax and this that and the other. I think it's my RuneScape days of doing flax runs for bowstrings. It's kind of just destroyed it for me <laughs> for the rest of my life. But yeah, 
that's basically it. So I'm thinking uh, maybe later on, because this is the end of this play session for me, I think we go to the gated community. So that, that actually might be the next episode, because, yeah, I've had a bit of a kerfuffle. I feel rather disheartened as we've got one pallet of lumber left out here. Then we have 27 planks. And that's it. That, that's, that's all of it. What, 19 planks? 17 planks? Yeah, 19, 19 planks. What, however many. I'm, 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 a bit, I'm a bit tired, so... Numbers, yeah. No. I'll pass. <laughs> but, yeah. This is going to be it for this episode. Sorry it's been a bit of a... Mix match, just base sorting episode, but it does need to be done. Sadly, I hate it. And we are starting to get a small forest within our little encampment. And there's a few too many around the cars. I don't like that. So that means another area that we're going to have to board over. Yeah. God damn it. Why did superb survivors have to break? Why? I really wanted them for lumber. That's all I wanted them for. Just to go out, chop logs, and bring them back. That's all I wanted. All I wanted. Right, anyway. Um, yeah, into the TARDIS. So, that is sadly going to be it for this episode. Again, uh, my apologies. It's been a bit boring. I know some of you out there just always want to see combat, but Zomboid... It's not all about combat, is it? It's about perseverance and putting up with stupid buildings that don't want to work. Yeah. As you can see, I, I moved the water barrel thinking that maybe that would have helped, but no. Stupid thing. It is a shame. Now, do I just build a house over here? I don't know. Maybe. Or I might build upstairs and it might work then. I don't know if this section is going to continue up. I don't, I, I don't really want to risk it, honestly. It's really, really, really annoyed me. I suppose I can just move everything out of here. The fridge, etc, etc. Into here. Uh, get rid of these cabinets. Just have fridges all the way along there. Have a sink. The fire. And then, yeah, just a bed here or something. Yeah, or bed over this way. I don't know. Yeah, it's a shame though, because obviously with the new you can place items thing, for example, my frying pans and can openers over here and good old spiffo on the bed and our godsend of a of a garden fork thing. Yeah. A little spiffo there. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to uh, be a bit more creative with it you know have a bit more space i know it's not much bigger but yeah hey ho we'll we'll figure something out so next episode i think we go hunting for the rest of the things for this gardening bench so the gated community that's where we're going to head over to because there's a fair amount of sheds there it should be quite interesting because it's all enclosed areas could be very dangerous or it could be really really easy we don't know yet until we get down there so again thank you very very much for watching and putting up with this slower episode again i do apologize but that is the nature of the beast as they say and yeah don't forget to do all the usual youtubey things and like subscribe leave me a comment i will reply you know i'm only I'm a small time YouTuber, I will reply to everybody. Or at least try. <laughs> so, yeah, again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.